So I'm going to show you how to turn someone to dust like this. Wow, so cool. Uh, first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to create a new composition from our video. Uh, the best way to do this is actually to film a version of it with your actor and a version of it with no one uh, covering the background. But I'm going to show you how to do it if you haven't done that and it's just the actor. First thing we have to do is rotoscope. So we're going to click this here. It's roto brush. Double click here. Trace out our person. Now it doesn't have to be a hundred percent perfect. Uh, especially the first frame of a roto brush is always the ugliest. But luckily, After Effects knows kind of what we want. And we'll do a good job of covering our dude from here on out. Okay, then hit page down. And then we just move our playhead forward all the way to the end. It should trace him perfectly. I have a tutorial about how to rotoscope. So if you want to know that, you can also watch that tutorial. And then we just wait. Okay, once this is finished, we hit the green line should be done. We hit freeze. Then we wait until that finishes. Once it's all finished, we can go back to our composition. We can see dude is cut out. We can duplicate our layer and remove the rotor brush from the bottom one. And then we have our guy cut out on the top. We can check and the background from here. We need to create a version of the background where you cannot see our guy to do that. We will need to generate fill layer. If you don't have this content aware fill here, just go to window, go down to content aware fill and click it and it should appear. So I'm just going to move that up. Uh, the best way to do this is to create a reference frame. So I'm just going to do that. When you click that, it should open up Photoshop. So creating the reference frame is just us making one frame where this person is not visible. So the way we can do that, we can do it in all sorts of different ways. We can outline the guy like this and then right click and click content aware fill. This might not work the best. Um, it looks very clear that we did something like that. So I'm not going to do that. One of the other ways we can do it is using the clone stamp tool. Um, so I'll just try that out. Can oh, cover them up, hold alt, cover them up a little bit and keep on doing that until you're done. Okay. One of the other things you can use if uh, you have something that's a solid object like this tree is you use the patch tool that I just grabbed. I'm just going to outline the tree because using the clone stamp tool might not work as well. And then click, drag downwards, drag downwards, drag downwards. And of course, this isn't the best, but you can take more time to make your image look better. So from here, we click Command S to save, go back into our After Effects file. We see we have our reference frame right here. From here, what we're going to do is just cut out our guy and follow a path while he's moving so that we know what we're cutting out. So I'm just going to create a mask around him. So we have our mask around the guy. So from here, I'm just going to hit mask path, click that and follow along with him as he moves. All right, we can put a feather on our mask as well, just to help it blend the edges a little bit. All right, from here, we have object selected. We have strong, I'll, I'll go to moderate lighting correction. Um, and we have objects selected. And as we generate the fill layer, we have to also set this to subtract so that it's generating what's in the blank space. Uh, off expansion a little bit. And then we're going to generate fill layer. This may take some time. So, so first it analyzes and then it fills the frame, but it takes a long time as you can see. Okay. So now that that's done happening, we can uh, move our rotoscope layer to the top. And we can see, and if we remove it, we can see that it's tracked our guy. It's not the best, as you can see. But yeah, if you take more time, you can definitely get it even better. So now we'll move this guy to the top layer. There he goes. And from here, we're going to put on some fun stuff. We're going to go to effects, type in scatterize. Once you put CC scatterize on, we can click the keyframe move down quite a bit and we're going to turn this all the way up so that this guy's really exploded into dust. And then I'll just put this twist here, that twist there. We'll start at zero for both of these though. I'll just move the keyframes down because I think those twisty motions 
can make it look more fun. Whoa. I'm just going to render it out so you can see what it looks like. Now, you can see right now, the dust kind of stays. So to get rid of the dust staying, we're just going to hit T on our keyboard, go to opacity from 100 down to zero. Also, if you don't want to hit T on your keyboard, you could just go down, click the transform, go to opacity, and do it that way. So now we got our dusted guy, gone. Thank you.